Hi everybody, I'm Jeff Teague with Toyota Jeff Reviews. Thanks for hitting subscribe. Let's do an interior deep dive of Land Cruiser. This is the 1958 trim level, so the 1958 edition in ice cap white. So let's walk around this one and see what we can see. Interior deep dive time. There'll be some exterior features that lead to interior features. That might be kind of interesting too. We also see Tacoma TRD Pro in Terracolor riding around. It's an exciting day, exciting week. I'm filming the Land Cruiser, the Tacoma iForce Max hybrids, the Crown Signia SUV, the Camry, the new Camry, and the Forerunner. Let's talk about some specs on this one before we get to the inside. First of all, it starts at 55,950. See, I got them here. I'll show you the whole spec sheet, but it's 2.4 liter turbo hybrid, 465 pounds of torque. 326 horsepower. The fuel mileage is gonna be 22 in the city, 25 on the highway, 23 combined. A lot better than what old Land Cruiser was getting. More performance fast facts. It's got front wheel disc brakes, rear wheel disc brakes, woo! And also double wishbone front suspension, coil spring, multi-link rear suspension. Let's get our interior first look. That's what you came for, right? We just had to get a lay of the lane on the outside first. And then we'll go section by section, feature by feature to show you what I think is important. And absolutely, we want to know what you think is important about this ride. You'll notice fabric seats. You'll know I'm slipping on the hill here. And then you'll notice no power seats. And then the back seat, I see the seriously Rob handle. Seriously Rob? Or the, oh, bleep handle. Holla. All right, here's a look there. And here, what a nice interior. So modernized. It feels great, especially riding it off-roading, which I already did in a previous video on the channel. And how are we gonna get into the back area? Well, we can hit right between the Y and the O. Oi, or yo. That opens up like that. It's not a power tailgate like on the other trims. You can also pop this button right here. Uh, pop, pop, pop that thing. Pop goes the weasel, because the weasel goes pop. And as we close this one here, Like that, we'll open her up. That's where the hitch goes, up to 6,000 pound tow capacity. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So do we have tie downs? Yes, we do right here. Now remember, this is just the two row option. There are no three rows in a Land Cruiser. If you want three rows, maybe go to GX. That could be an option here. What do we have if we pull this? Ooh, all right, we got storage, jack equipment right there. And look at this one right here, 2,400 watt inverter. That is nice. So imagine you can microwave now. You can plug in your electric piano and play it while you're at your campsite, working in the woods. And how about our cargo room? Well, first thing we could do, tumble this seat forward here. I'm gonna use the old bleep handles to get up. See, that's a benefit right there. I needed that. I need that. I need this. So we're gonna tumble this one without getting me stuck. There we go, so now we've got room in the back. And here's what the room looks like in the back. Got a little gap there. But look at all this room here, very tall, very boxy. And then here, 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 uh-huh. So do you like the use of that space? And how about back seat space? See, again, I need that. Oh yeah, this is nice. Good headroom here. I'm five foot eight, so if I was six foot five, I'd be maybe up to here. So could I recline my seat? Yes, I can. Nice. The seats feel very comfortable. Like I said in a previous video, they feel like a lazy boy couch or recliner, but firm. Yeah, really nice right here. Good space. What about amenities? What can we see? Number one, we've got bottle holders. Not soft touch material necessarily. It's not hard, but it's just not soft materials on this one. All right, we've got pocket folders. That's useful for the spec sheet right there. USBs, ooh, 12 volt circular and rear air. So that's also important. This right here I like. That's nice, nice coverage here, squishy. Cup holders and then child latches are gonna be easily marked right there. So benefit, where does the air come from? There and there. 
but overall I'd say the second row has a good amount of room. And on this side, remember I told you that it doesn't have a power seat for driver or for passenger. What it has is a pump on the side of the seat that raises you up. So you can do that. We call that around here the poor man's power seat because it sounds fun. But at least it can do some function of it. Decent sized glove box, not the hugest, but decent. All right, you can adjust the air vents this way. Raised eight inch screen. On other trims, you'll be able to get something like a 12.3 inch screen or exactly like that. Home link with garage door openers, auto dimming rear view mirror. It's got a slider here with the light. See, this is a pre-production prototype. Up here, what do our lights look like? Well, we gotta find them first of all. There we go. So you could do that. SOS, that's for safety connect if you need help. Just call that center. But the seat, it's firm, but it's kind of plush. I like the pattern of it. Got some color to it, some texture going on. It's not bad. It's not an all black interior. It's kind of broken up. Turn signal on the side mirror. Blind spot right here has rear cross traffic alert. So we're gonna get here. This is a little bit of a slope, so I've got to hang on to. We don't wanna fall and get hurt here. Why would I wanna do that? But it's got a pump on the side of the seat. So you may be asking yourself, for a 1958 edition, it's 55,950, great price. But why do they offer one with cloth seats? Well, this is a retro version. It's designed to not have all the bells and the whistles. So if you don't want a lot of gadgets and gadgets and things like that, you just want a new Land Cruiser that's a lot cheaper than the last generation, this is the way to go. So that might be the rationale for that one. Keeping the price down. You don't want the entry level to start at 65,000 because it has all these extra options. It's gotta be reasonable. So trailer, the watt power, brightness, See that? Automatic high beams, rear braking, cool. Um, I'm just gonna hit the horn real quick. All right, there we go. Here's our controls on the steering wheel. And as far as our control layout here, this is Toyota Audio Multimedia. It's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but no wires, it's wireless. Voice commands that you can give the car. Hi, Toyota. What's my driving range? Your trip range is 261 miles. Okay, beautiful. Has heated seats standard on it. We just pop up the air like this. That's the front defroster, rear defroster. You can sync it up. Rear air. Heated steering wheel. We can choose different drive modes. Electronically controlled transmission. Downhill assist control or crawl mode. Electronic parking brake and brake hold. Those are, of course, nice to have. Traction control on and off. You never know when you need to take that off. Locking center, locking rear differential, and then you switch between four wheel drive, high and low, depending on how you wanna do that. So let's get to this screen here and see what we can find. Across it tells us our MPG. We can do driving support, radio, okay tire pressure, and then our safety features, including the new proactive driving assist, vehicle settings, and then meter settings, language type, meter style. You can do smart, you can do tough. How do we get back there? There we go. You can choose sporty. Let's leave it on sporty for people. All right, so we got sporty spice over there. Got the fog light controls, holla, adaptive cruise, lane centering right there because this is Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. And then on this screen here, navigation, enable the audio, but after I turn it down. So we can do lithium, yeah, 80s, holla, pink Cadillac, okay, Sinatra, yeah. Okay, we can set up our phones different climate, rear climate options. Okay, trip information, the current, the history, vehicle alert, 
And then right here, ooh, so we set up a profile. You can change that between cars. You just change your profile, set it up in different vehicles that have Toyota Audio Multimedia. So maybe I could put this in the RAV4, then the Tundra, then the Camry. Sound tuning goes right here. Right there, right there. You can also center it either way. Media, I don't think that does much for me. All right, vehicle customize, lights, illumination, the brightness, door controls, that goes up. Climate, just a little bit there. Utility, a little bit there. And that's pretty much all that you get with that one. So how do you like this interior? How about some spec sheets so we can see that this is ice cap white, black interior. Here's the engine information and performance, MPG. What stands out to you in each section here? The projector headlights that are circular maybe? 18 inch wheels? The Toyota grille maybe? All right, interior features. These are all standard on our friend 1958. Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. The MSRP there is 55. 950 as is and that's another one of the same vehicle. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I appreciate you being here. Thoughts on Land Cruiser. Which trim level? 1958? The Land Cruiser trim or first edition? Which way are you going with that one? Which way on the spectrum? I'm at Toyota Jeff Reviews, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. You'll see all sorts of content on Land Cruiser, Crown Signia SUV, Camry, Tacoma iForce Max Hybrid, including Trail Hunter, TRD Pro, Off-Road, things like that. It's exciting. And then my second channel covers all brands, same type of content, Auto Jeff Reviews, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. So if you're on Instagram, look up Auto Jeff Reviews. Thanks very much. See you later. And you should definitely check out my Land Cruiser playlist. Lots of videos dedicated to our favorite SUV. Thanks for clicking. Thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing. See ya.